everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow us, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. has links to all of my social media down there. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms. Talk to me, and I will talk back. Also has the links as well to all of my YouTube pages down there. Please go down there. Subscribe to all my YouTube pages. Give my videos a thumbs up. And turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about some blockbuster trades that the Dolphins have made with the 49ers and the Eagles, okay? So they kind of, you know, started, everything was cool, easy breezy, having a good old time, and then boom, right? The Dolphins come out of nowhere, they strike a deal with the 49ers, okay? Now, originally the deal they struck with the 49ers, the Dolphins got... The 12th pick, they also got a third round pick from the Niners. They also got uh, a 2022 first rounder and a 2023 first rounder. And the Niners, in, in that exchange, just get the third overall pick. And I'm like, wow. First off, you know, we know the Dolphins are divisional arrival. Uh, you look at the situation with the Niners and you're going, man, they've moved up. Uh, this is a deal that really does benefit the Dolphins as well. They get a lot of capital back. They can continue to work and build their football team with. And we're just sitting back like, man, what a deal. It came out of nowhere. Then a little bit of time later, boom, another deal, the Dolphins strike, okay? So now, again, the Dolphins were sitting at 12 with the other capital that they had gained from that Niners move, right? Then they look at the Eagles and they say, hey, we want to make a deal with you. So then they strike a deal with the Eagles. In that deal with the Eagles... The Dolphins get the sixth pick in the first round, and they get a, f a fifth rounder. The Eagles get the 12th pick in the first round. They get a fourth rounder, and they get a 2022 20, first round pick. So it's like, whoa, the Dolphins moved back to 12, right? Got all that capital from the Niners, and then they sat back and they said, okay, we're going to strike another one. And they moved back up to six, and... You know what I'm saying? Give away a first round pick, which they had again, they had gained, you know, a, a first round pick as well in that Niners trade. So it was like, man, the Dolphins are moving and grooving. And when you look at this situation from a Jets fan standpoint, because again, this is a Jet channel and we talk green over here, okay? This has some fallout for us, all right? First, I'm going to start with you look at our current quarterback situation. A lot of people want to get rid of Sam Darnold, a lot of people want to move on from him. There was a lot of destinations originally that people were talking about sending them. I remember people saying, hey, you know, Detroit could use them. There were other guys there. Doors started to close. Uh, people started to make trades to get guys in there. Uh, you know, Detroit went and got golf. You know, other teams went and got other players as well that was out there in the quarterback market. And then all of a sudden, a lot of Jets fans and analysts started to bring the Niners into the conversation. They emerged. You know, people were saying, hey, he can go there. He can be successful within their scheme. It kind of fits his skill set and what he does. Sam to the Niners, Sam to the Niners, Sam to the Niners. I believe that that door is closed now because the San Francisco 49ers have put themselves in a position by getting that third pick in the first round. I believe it's to take one of the quarterbacks, right? It's got to be. Um, who they want, who knows? But it's got to be to take one of those guys. So where do you move Sam now? Where does he go? You know, I know a lot of people are talking about Carolina. A lot of people are talking about Denver as well. Um, I understand that. But at the same time, how do we not know that Denver or Carolina don't value any other quarterbacks over Sam at this point? You know, maybe they like Trey Lance. Maybe they like, you know, the quarterback from Alabama. Why would they take Sam? Also, what does this do to his value as well? Because a lot of these teams that were in the market in the beginning are no longer in the market. I know that there was a lot of reports that the Jets were looking for a first-round pick for Sam. Do you think you're going to get a first now? Because there's not a big market. So any team that would still be interested him in him at this point, they could look at you and go, it's just me, dog. <laughs> I, I don't have to trade a first-rounder for him. I'm literally, you know, I'm literally, uh, uh, you know, betting against myself here. I'm literally, you know, trying to leverage against myself. So, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not giving you a first rounder because there's no market. I'm the only person here. You know, I'm not going to continue to, you know, bet against myself. That's crazy. So 
that that's tough. That's the fallout that comes from it. For those of you that want to move on from Sam, the, the question is there, okay, where do you move him? The next question starts to remain, okay, if you want to stick with Sam, now what are your trade down possibilities? Because again, you would think that, hey, there's teams that are going to be out there that are, that are looking for quarterbacks. Because again, we have that number two quarterback or number two uh, spot in the draft, which right now is white hot. You know, a lot of people believe that, that Trevor Lawrence is going number one. There's a lot of hype around Zach Wilson right now. He's just sprung into that conversation. And again, Justin Fields, the guy that I like as well, you know, his name is up there as well. So what are the trade possibilities now? Because the Niners, again, was a big name out there. Hey, they, yeah, they got Garoppolo, but they definitely need to be looking at taking a quarterback in this draft because not everybody's excited about what Jimmy G has done. Well, now what do you do? What's the trade down possibilities? Who exactly could who exactly could you look at and say, hey, move up, let's get this deal done? Also, what kind of value can you get back? If the Dolphins got two first round picks for 2022 and 2023 and a third, the value on that number two pick is insane. And I remember that there was a narrative that the number two pick would be worthless. That narrative has fell apart. That We are white hot right now, okay? <laughs> that number two pick is on fire and the value is going up, up, and up, okay? So the trade down possibilities, you know, the value that we could get back is growing by the minute, by the hour, all right? Then you start to look at the division, where this sets up, you know, again, you look around, the Bills have built themselves up. They're competing constantly. The Patriots did a lot in free agency. They're going to continue to push forward. Now you got the Dolphins setting themselves up yet again with more capital to continue to build with their young franchise quarterback that they have there. Man, so it's a lot of fallout. But one of the things that I also start to think too is, you look at the Niners in their situation, it starts to make me wonder who are they targeting exactly? Who are they comfortable with? Um, you look at this situation, are they moving up for Justin Fields? Do they believe that Justin Fields is going to be there at three? Are they in love with Zach Wilson? Like, who exactly are they looking at? Or do they not care? Are they just comfortable with whoever falls to them? Because that's exactly, you know, what happened with the Jets. When we traded up the year that Sam Darnold came out, we weren't trading up necessarily for Sam Darnold because everybody believed that Sam Darnold would be gone first overall. If you go back and watch the interviews, uh, the post draft or uh, yeah post draft interviews, Bowles, McCagnan, they did interview. Nobody thought that Sam Darnold was going to be there. They all had him written off to be a Brown. That was said and done, done deal. What <laughs> he was going to be playing with the Cleveland Browns, and we were going to fall out. You know, we were going to get whoever, whether it be Josh Rosen or you know Mayfield, whoever's going to be there, right? And lo and behold, Sam fell to us, and we took the pick, and we did move up in the draft to get him. We gave a couple of second round picks away to the Colts to make sure that we were in that, you know, in that room so that whatever quarterback fell down, we would have a chance. Are the Niners in that same position? You got to start to wonder, you know, or do they have some inside info? Do they, do they know that the, the Jets will be interested in Zach or, you know, that the Jets are going to, you know, either take Justin or take Zach. You know, do they know these things? So it's a lot of questions, a lot of questions to be asked. But I want you folks to comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you feel about this, this trade that's been, uh, you know, done here? Uh, what are your thoughts about the fallout from it? How do you feel about the possibility of trading Sam? What do you think his value is if you want to move on from him? Uh, if you don't, and, you know, I'm one of those guys that don't necessarily want to move on from him. Are there trade down possibilities that you would be interested in? If so, what teams do you think would be interested in moving, you know, up? You know what I'm saying? So let me know. This is this is crazy, man. This is crazy. So you folks have a good one. Comment down below. I can't wait to hear from you folks. You folks have a great one. Peace.